Friends, you never know who you'll touch in life. You never know how or when you'll have an impact or how important your example can be to someone else. My faith helps me understand that circumstances don't dictate my happiness or my inner peace. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. You have to be who you are in this world, no matter what. At the end of the day, my friends, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about what you've done with those accomplishments. It's about who have you lifted up, who have you made better. It's about what you've given back to those people. I think, personally, a role model is a mentor, someone who you see on a daily basis and you learn from them. My faith taught me how to forgive. Faith taught me when people present themselves in a certain way, there's probably some backstory or issue or reason for the way that they are acting. It's not you, my friends. It's them. And a lot of times, it's about something that's completely out of their control. Put God first. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. <clears throat> I've kept God in my life, and it's kept me humble. I didn't always stick with Him, but He always stuck with me. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. And understand, to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. It's not how much you have in life. It's about what you do with what you have. It, that's where the success is in helping others. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. My advice is this, and it's simple. Don't just aspire to make a living. Friends, aspire to make a difference. And may God bless each and every one of you, and take good care. Bye-bye now. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and a host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. His best for you. Do the good things that result from being saved, obeying God. Philippians 2, 12. So, what is that? It takes no pull for those, those of us who have communicated with young people to know the devastation that permissive sexual activity generally causes. In the Bible, it tells us clearly it becomes a cancer in the body and minds and characters of those who indulge almost without exception. And there are other victims such as innocent bystanders, as parents, grandparents, old family, friends, teachers, and advisors, all much more concern than you can even understand. They want only the best for you. Anything less than a happy marital voyage gives them pain. The wisdom of their years says that premarital relationships are always a mistake. The Bible teaches that God created sex. He made male and female. Then it says the following, God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. This included the natural sexual attraction between man and woman that he had created. Therefore, sex is not a sin. It is God's gift to human race. It is, however, for procreation, for enjoyment within the bonds of matrimony, for the fulfillment of married love. First Theologians 4, 3 and 5, or 3 through 5. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from sexual immorality, 
that each one of you know how to control his body and holiness and honor, not in the passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God. Let's do this prayer for today. All gifts you have given us are to be enjoyed within the structure of your commandments, Heavenly Father. Keep us always conscious of your teachings. This was today's devotion. Call me at 844-405. Help. Together we can help each other. Take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to anyone can change their day and their life. can do the same to you. It is very important that you reach out to God for guidance and direction. It helps you throughout your life. I do it each and every day, and without it, I would be lost. May God bless you. Take good care, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take good care. Bye-bye now.